how they do it. But uh, yeah, get get these in. You have until you know midnight wherever you're located. Um, you know we're we're Central yeah. Time, so we got we got four hours to put it in. So uh, yes, these yes, would yes. be my five guys and my my. My rule, and I, I told I told you know Jay this, and, and he knows. I I try to keep it under twenty percent, so that no matter what size league you're in, you know if you're in a, and and this is more for the Yahoo side. If you're in a 10, 12, 16, 20, you know something crazy, uh, you know you're in a thirty-two man league, whatever the hell that you can you can readily available readily get these guys. Um, obviously, uh, C.J. Stroud we talked about earlier. C.J. Stroud is a is a must-have. But he jumped, so he was going to be my number one initially, but he jumped overnight from 20 to 21% somehow. So, you know, I'm a man of my word, so we, we kept it under 20. Uh, so I ended up going with uh, Josh Palmer at number one. I, I think it's a no-brainer. Quentin Johnston, you know, I, I don't think he's still fully enveloped into the offense yet, and we don't know what he is. I mean, he could be a bust or he could be the next Keenan Allen. We, we just don't know yet. We haven't seen enough of a sample size. But we know Josh Palmer, he filled in nicely last year when they had injury, you know, when Keenan Allen was out. So uh, he's going to be their number two going forward, I would assume. And uh, that's a good spot to be in. When you got Justin Herbert slinging it, uh, that's a damn good spot to be in. Only 6% rostered. you got to find a place for him on your team, Absolutely. even if it's on your bench. I don't care what size league you're in, what your team is. I guarantee you don't have a solid number two receiver just just chilling on your bench. And if you do, more power to you. But Josh Palmer is a must-have. Number two, Mac Jones. I don't love Mac Jones, but he's actually been you know playing a little better under Bill O'Brien this year. You know the new OC. Um, they, you know not not working with a ton. I know I know Jay's probably rolling his eyes underneath his sunglasses, but <laughs> you can guarantee that one. I, I yeah. I think he's there with Baker. I've used Baker two weeks in a row. I thought I'd change it up. You know, Baker's still in that kind of roster, you know, percentage. CJ Stroud's that, you know, they're all kind of in the same realm. Uh, Andy Dalton, I don't know how long he's going to play. Andy Dalton's available too. I could have put him in there. Um, I, I, I'm waiting for that uh, Raiders situation. Brian Hoyer, I don't, I, yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. Jimmy, Jimmy's better than Brian Hoyer. You, you know, you could argue Aiden O'Connell. If Aiden O'Connell plays, Aiden O'Connell, uh, I don't know if he'd play this week, but he might be a guy to consider for, you know, when we do this for week five uh, from, from the Raiders. But there's a couple, couple different quarterbacks I could have put in here. Uh, Josh Dobbs. Josh Dobbs hasn't been playing bad. I think Josh Dobbs is, Josh Dobbs is about 13% rostered now, 10% uh, up from last week. So Josh Jobs would be a play here as well. But I just think, yeah, I th- just think Mac Jones is worth a flyer if you're in a deeper league. If you're in a 16-man league and you need a backup quarterback, you know, Mac's not the worst option. Number three, uh, Melvin Gordon, only 1% roster. This guy might start this week. This guy might start this week because Justice Hill out. He He's still questionable for this week, so let's just assume he's out. <laughs> um, uh, Dobbins is out for the year. Uh, Gus Edwards had a concussion. Uh, somehow, uh, you know, Mel, uh, this would have been laughable a couple weeks ago because Melvin Gordon was, was cut. He was cut, signed to the practice squad, and within four weeks, he's probably going to be their starting running back this weekend. So, and that's not saying much, but you know, if the guy can get you 40 yards in the touchdown, it, hell, hell, that's 10 points. You know what I mean? So, and it, a few receptions, and then you piece it together with if you need a one week fill in guy, Melvin Gordon might be that guy this week or a cheap DFS, DFS option. Uh, number four, Josh Downs, only 3% rostered. I, you know, I like the odds there. Um, I thought he had a good rapport with, with uh, Minshew. So, if AR5 is going to be out a little bit, you know, Downs is. Obviously, you know, Pittman Jr. is the clear-cut number one, but maybe Downs can be the number two until uh, AR5 gets back. And uh, uh, my man, Parham Jr., I, you know what? From the targets so far through the first three weeks, I, and I've seen Gerald Everett in there too, but I think he's on par with Gerald Everett. If not, he's taken his spot as the, as the feature tight end with the Chargers. And only 2% rostered. Uh, you know, I like I like his future going forward. I I really do. Um, I I see him taking away some of the targets that Mike Williams would have gotten. So if Quentin Johnson's not going to be a factor, if it's mainly you know Keenan Allen and uh, Josh Palmer, and if Eckler is going to be out till week six this week, Parham Jr. might have another standout week. I wouldn't be shocked, you know, because they have a bye week five. They're off week five. 
So uh, if you need a, a, a one week or, you know, DFS, uh, you can find some use for him uh, in, in DFS as well, but only 2% rostered. Go snag him up. And uh, those are my five. Ooh, you, you, you know what I think of Melvin Gordon? What, what, what's that? That's what I think of Melvin Gordon. Hey, <laughs> That's what hey, I think. Jay, it's, Jay, it's hard. To get, it's hard. Jay, at, at this point of the year, it's hard to get feature running backs. And if this guy can start a couple games, he's worth uh, you know kicking the tires on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, with, with the running back situations looking like garbage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you have to, yeah, Melvin Gordon is a body. I mean, yeah, I mean. <sighs> It's 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 kind of crappy. Because this is what we this is what we go through, um, like all all the time. I mean, this is what we go through with all these Ravens running backs. They're they're not usable. They're not. It's it's frustrating because can't trust, can't all, trust them. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't. And I mentioned this on a different. I mentioned this in a different. Well, not in a stream, but a, a comment in a different stream. Keaton Mitchell will surpass Melvin Gordon in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. So once he comes off the IR, I mean, if they're still struggling like this, Keaton Mitchell is going to be getting, he'll be getting some playing time. I, so I agree. I think, I, I no, I agree. I, I think, I think Keaton Mitchell, I think Ke- Keaton Mitchell was their second best running back behind Dobbins. Like if Dobbins is fully healthy, he's their best running back. I thought Keaton Mitchell was the second best running back because I liked what I saw in the preseason. I thought it was a, it was a, it was a, a, sh- a, a, a sham he wasn't drafted how he went undrafted is, is ridiculous i mean you've been talking about him you got me on him too when he was still in college at east carolina um yeah just so but but i'm saying like that's a guy you know when he comes off the ir list that's that be, that be uh, you know maybe week seven week eight when we're doing this we're doing the waiver stuff maybe keaton mitchell's the guy it's just gonna keep it, moral of the story it's gonna keep changing it's like a revolving door it's gonna be you know uh and then Justice Hill, like week uh, week ten, Justice Hill will be the running back. Week twelve, it'll go back to Melvin Gordon. Week fourteen, it'll be Gus the Bus. You know, it's just uh, week seventeen, it'll be Keaton Mitchell again. It's this is just the way it's going to go with this team. Yeah, it it is. Um, a, a few quick comments. And Donovan says, "Have we reached the bottom of the barrel?" Um, we have reached the bottom <laughs> of the barrel. Yes, yes, Don. <laughs> It, it is. I mean, it also has comments on Melvin Gordon. He had 40 yards, one touch on two fumbles. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's just, that's just another. That's just my overall overall opinion of Melvin Gordon. I really, re, 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 literally don't care. Uh, yes, but the rest of these guys are not bad. Palmer, I got, I got, I'm talking about him too. You know, Josh Downs is a guy to look at. And part of him, as you mentioned, yeah, I mean, especially if Mac Williams and Quint Johnson can't get anything going. I mean, yeah, I mean, Parham will be another guy in the offensive system to um, get things going. And so we'll get into, so my guys for, you know, 10 to 12 leagues over out on uh, sleeper, CJ Stroud is actually on my list. With bye weeks coming up, you know, here soon, CJ Stroud will be a guy you more likely will want to put on your bench. Don't play him this week, but get him a get him. He'll be a guy you want to be on your bench because he, if he has another um another another good week this week, you can trade him. I, this this might be a hot take. This might be a hot take, Jay. But there's there, you know, if it's a tw- ten man, you're pushing it. But in twelve man, I would start him. I think right now he's playing like a top 12 fantasy quarterback. I would absolutely start him. Uh, CJ. Yep. Um, I got Kelvin. I got Kelvin Austin on this. Uh, he's 5% rostered. He, he's, he's slowly coming along. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. he had another touchdown this weekend. He had another touchdown this weekend, which I was happy with. I mean, he's explosive. He looks good. I mean, he's their number two. I mean, he's behind that. He's behind Pickens, you know, Allen Robinson, Whatever, I really don't yeah. care. I, I, this, that's right an with Melvin Gordon, <laughs> right? But uh, Kelvin Austin, especially, I mean, if, he, if if he's a guy, now I can't even talk now. Kelvin Austin is a guy to look at if you if you need a wide receiver. Um, James Winston, um, I put him on this list because it sounds like Carr could be out multiple weeks, and James Winston, I know he's an 
you know, as Eli says, he should be an XFL, but Jameis Winston is is a liable. But the guy that can sling it. He can. I can sling it, Jay, but he should be in there. And they play, and they, they do play Tampa this week too, I believe. So it's a, a revenge game. <laughs> but what um, James Winston is two percent rostered, so he's a guy to maybe possibly look at if you're hurting for um, QB. Would you take uh, James or Andy Dalton real quick? For for a one week game because they're playing the Vikings, you know, just yeah. j- just for one week, Andy Dalton. If this turned it, if Carr is out, let's say he went to the pup and he was out, you know, three four games or something. Uh, uh, I over the course of that stretch, I take Jameis Winston. So if you need a one week guy, which which I, I think lends its lends its hand to DFS. So Andy Dalton for DFS, I would take in a heartbeat over Jameis Winston. But if you needed them for three four weeks, I'd take Jameis Winston. All right. Um, I got Quentin Johnson. He's even though he's fifty one percent rostered, he, it's possible he could still be out there. Um, same way with Joshua Palmer. He's only five percent rostered. We've kind of been talking about this already. Um, both of these guys should be rostered. No matter what, I mean, more more people are higher on Joshua Palmer because just because he's been there a little bit longer. But if Quentin Johnson can get going, I think he I think he can be your best bet for the long run. And I think Palmer gets booted back, you know, because you know Quint Quentin Johnson is, is pretty much Mike Williams. He's you know called these guys kind of like the three towers because I mean these guys were they're, they're monsters. They're over six foot tall. So I mean, yeah, Quentin Johnson might be a little misused right now, but I think eventually. He'll he'll catch on, and I, you know, he he'll be somebody to be reckon be reckoning with. But far as right now, I'd try to get both these guys if you're able to. Either one's gonna, either one's probably gonna pop. And Tank Dell, he's still out there in some of these leagues. I mean, for he's forty eight percent rostered, but he's he's electric. If you can trade for him, um, I I don't have I don't think I have any shares of Tank Dell at all anywhere i don't think but if i was able to i would try to be chasing for him but these are just kind of these are kind of the guys that kind of look at that i overseen in your kind of your smaller 10 to 12 man leagues i mean kelvin austin might be pushing a little bit especially you know smaller leagues but i mean 12 leagues maybe a smudge i i would kind of look at there um now over to the deep six sleepers. Deep cuts. Deep cuts. Yes. Deep cuts. Yes. Um, Rico Dowell with the Dallas Cowboys. He's only 4% rostered. I mean, if you're looking for somebody in a deep league, he's actually getting some work behind Pollard right now. He is. I mean, he's he's their RB2. So, I mean, if Pollard comes out, Rico Dowell is going to be kind of in there. It'll be kind of the mesh. I mean, you can pretty much kind of put out the little the, the little man back down there. Um, but, yeah, he, he's someone you probably want to get in right. He's getting touches, carries. He might even snag a couple, you know, um, TDs from um, Pollard. So, I mean, this guy is not a bad option. I didn't see anything else out there for as far as running backs. Um, Joshua Palmer just mentioned if you need somebody in deeper leagues, go snag him up. He's only 5% rostered. Um, yeah, Josh Downs. We're, meant, we're talking about him again. I mean, with with um, what's his name? What's what's the QB with the the Colts? Um, can't think of his name. Oh, now. oh, oh, Uncle Rico, uh, Gardner Minshew. Yes, Gardner Minshew. Yes, I, I I should know this, but I mean, I just see him as you know the seventies guys, bandana, long he hair. Like, yeah, he looks like a seven, he looks like a seventies quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> but Josh Downs, I mean, he he looked good. I mean, just we just mentioned in the recap earlier. Josh Downs is somebody you want to take a look at. He's getting receptions. He plays the slot. He looks he's he looks good. And you know, with Minchu, you know, kind of being there, he kind of that kind of that uh, small, you know, kind of blanket kind of guy that you know you know Minchu needed. With maybe AR five coming back, it might be a little bit different. Might he might be slightly de- you know slightly down, but he was still kind of targeted. Um, Michael Wilson. <sighs> If this is a long shot. I I think he popped a little bit. That's because Joshua Dobbs was in there playing as quarterback. If you need somebody, Mike Wilson, I think will slowly kind of get in a. He'll start trending upwards a little bit. You know, we kind of he's a rookie. Um, it's still questionable though. I mean, if 
you know, even though with, uh, you know, Hollywood kind of being there, you know, I think Wilson will be their number two guy down there. And Andy Dalton, you know, he's... I was, I was just say quick on Michael Wilson. I, I think he is too. I think there's they're setting him up because Rondale Moore is not a number two. He just isn't. He's a number three or number four. So Mike, Michael Wilson will step. And, and it might, you know, Tyler, if he decides, you know, if they're... You know, if he decides he likes playing football again and, and somehow comes back this year, then he might benefit even more because Kyler can can really I mean Josh Dobbs has been playing solid, but Kyler can can really fling it when he when he wants to. So that could be more 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 pro- productivity from Michael Wilson going forward. So I'd I'd snag him up while he's cheap now, especially in a deeper league. Yeah, for sure. And um we and Andy Dalton's only five percent roster too. So I mean if you really, really need it, if you're desperate for quarterbacks, especially in deeper leagues where most of us are, Andy Dalton is a guy to kind of like take a look at. Um if Bryce is not out there this week, Andy Dalton will be a failure or James Winston, either one of those two guys, go out and try to snake those two guys up because or 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 may you know if Jimmy G is not playing, maybe uh, Aiden O'Connell's out there too. I mean, he's probably zero percent rostered. So if Jimmy G does not play, I would I would sneak him in, especially in a deep league. It is not going to Jay. It, Jay, they're they're toying with playing Brian Hoyer. Oh, Brian Hoyer, I didn't know Brian Hoyer was still in the league. Why? I he, Aiden I O'Connell he, looked great in the preseason. Josh McDaniels, if he starts Brian Hoyer over Aiden O'Connell, he needs to be fired. <laughs> this guy, it, it needs it needs to end. He's a moron. Like you, you gotta yeah. put Aiden, Aiden O'Connell look damn good. Put him in. Yeah. There. See what he can do. Can't hurt anything. For sure, for sure. I Bad mean, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I just mentioned Joshua Dobbs. I mentioned him even even last week's waivers. Joshua Dobbs. He beat the Cowboys. He beat my boys. I mean, can't can't beat a guy who's actually look. I mean, plays plays well, slinging it around. I mean, runs a little bit. He had a rushing touchdown too as well. I mean, he'll get a little bit of upside from him, just a little bit. I mean, they, you know, even though it was kind of garbage time with these guys. I mean, Arizona is kind of trash, but I mean, these guys are going to produce in garbage time more than likely. So, yeah, that's kind of my top six in deeper leagues, man. Yes, Mag- so. Magnific- Right, let's give ourselves a <laughs> but that was our that was our kind of overall waivers for week four. Um, a lot, a lot of different, you know, a lot of different, uh, you know, outlooks and who to add, who to drop. Um, hopefully, everybody can snag up who they want to snag up this week. And I know I have a lot to I have a lot, a lot to take a look at through tonight to try to figure out who I want to as well. And uh, yeah, everybody, welcome into, if you not watching us, welcome into Odd Rhythm Fantasy Sports. We just got done with the waivers, and we just we previously got done with our highlighted players from the weekend, too, as well. And now we have a few more segments to go. Eli's going to get into his, uh, his DFS bargain bins, and we have Ghost in as well, and then our college spotlight to wrap up the show. Lots, lots of goodies left. If you just you're tuning in now, you, it's not too late. And like I said, you could always go back and and watch this uh, this episode after we're done with it. So that'll be up. Uh, Jay, gun to your head, quick before I move on. Uh, gun to your head. If you had to have one of these guys, one of these like probably fifteen guys we've mentioned, you can only have one. Like you don't have to bid on them. You don't have to do anything. Like hey, we'll just give you this one guy. Of these, like you know, every guy we mentioned so far, you could have one. Who who would it be? I, I, me, uh, CJ Stroud. I, I would probably go with Joshua, Josh Downs, probably more than likely. He's, he's in an offense where he can actually get some, he can actually get some receptions. I mean, I mean, he's, he's going to, he'll be a small blanket even for both, both, you know, Minshew and, um, AR5. I mean, they have Pittman there, but I mean, who else do they have here? I mean, they have McKenzie there who really, it's nah, not really doing anything. So I mean, it's, it's Josh Pitt, Allen, Alex it's, Pierce. It's, Pitt, that... it's well, yeah, it's Pittman. Ju- Pittman Junior is the clear number one. But Al- Pierce, I I think he can jump Pierce. I really do. I think I think if he if not already, I mean, I think that Josh Downs has a realistic chance to be their number two guy, and yeah. in any offense, especially one where with Richardson, once he starts getting you know he gets healthy again, starts selling it. I gotta yeah, go through seventeen right. teams of waivers yet. Donovan, that that's uh, 
I don't, I don't envy you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I actually, um, I actually went 12 and five this week out of all my leagues, 12 and five. It's not bad, but 12 and five from my previous week of that's good that's a damn good week yeah not bad at all yeah it's not shabby at all so i got 17 about yeah i got about 17 teams to look through myself as well well besides